everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is currently the 1st of September. This year has gone very, very quick and I literally don't even know where to start. So today I will be doing a everyday makeup look that I normally do every single day. And yeah, let's get started. Messy my hair is. My I haven't um, put my hair up in a while, so because I cut my hair like a few weeks ago or months or whatever you call it, I didn't know how it was gonna go. So just ignore my hair. Right. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be priming my face if I can find my primer. Right. So the primer I'm gonna be taking is the Miss Body Insta Primer. This gives you perfect and radiant complexion. Before that, I will be taking my Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I put this on before and after I do my makeup. So, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> and it's like leaking, but I don't know what that is. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. So I'm thinking maybe to do just a natural look today. My hair is a mess, so actually just ignore my hair. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a natural look for you guys. So, starting off with the eyes. I zoomed you in, just so you can actually see my face instead of having to zoom in or whatever. So I'm just gonna be taking this. This is really, really messy. So I got this like a few, like last year. I never used to use it because I didn't like the formula of it, but now suddenly I really, really like it and I've just started using it. Ignore how my eyebrows aren't shaped today. I just haven't bothered shaping my eyebrows because I will be shaping them later on because I will be getting in the shower. So it's just easier if I do it after I get in the shower. Um. So this is a tinted moisturiser, not a tinted moisturiser, a tinted primer, so my um, face is like a bit tinted, so that it looks much, much better. The foundation goes on much nicer with this, foundation, this primer, because I feel like it actually does my skin, like does something to my skin. taking my cocoa butter formula um lip lip balm because i love doing my makeup whilst having like a lip balm on because it's so much nicer because so uh, when you get to when your lips when you get to doing your lips if i can get if i can even speak but once you get to your lips your your lips are all moisturized and it's so much nicer to put lip gloss on or lipstick on that's what I feel like anyway but yeah um so get going on to the eyes I'll be taking a eyeshadow primer this is my technique this is my tubeless version of eyeshadow primer so yeah I'm just gonna be taking this um I normally use concealer for my eyeshadow base but for some reason I found this in my makeup box and I was like, hmm, I might try it. And last time I tried it in my other video, it actually really worked. This eyeshadow primer isn't like tinted or anything, it's just a really, really good base. I really don't like my hair today, so really ignore my hair. Um, I would do something else with it, but I'm just going to have to say like that. It looks like I have no hair if I do it another way, if I put it straight down. Actually, I'm going to have to throw it out because it's annoying. I've sorted out my hair. That is my eyeshadow primer on and everything. I've sorted out my hair. I know it's not the neatest, but I just had to dunk it up because I really wanted to record this video. As the lighting is very, very good today. As it's a really, really sunny day. So, thinking of an everyday look. I might... Um, I'm just going to take this eyeshadow palette that I have. Um, I just found this. So this is the Mermaid's Forever Revolution Ultra. Um, this is just 
the Mermaid Forever Ultra Eyeshadows. This has got 32 in. And Revolution have been really like up in their game with the eyeshadow palettes and makeup recently because I feel like some people are saying that they're better than Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is actually really, really good. Like, which is amazing for Revolution to be like that. So, I'm gonna be taking. I don't think I can do this. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna be taking a crease brush. It's probably dirty, so I just. Don't even think think I need to move my makeup brushes because I need my makeup brushes. Um, but I have to lean my thingy against something. So my mirror behind me because I don't have a face camera thing, like a face like flip out thing. So I don't know what it looks like. So I have to put a mirror behind my camera so that I know where my face is on the camera. But anyways, um, taking this palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade here. Um, these don't have any names. So, actually, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to change our shadow palette, so I'll be back in a second. I'm back, and I've got another palette, because I didn't really... I Whenever I use this, it just doesn't work for me. So, yeah, it just doesn't work. I just remembered that as soon as I opened it. That's why I was like, no, I need to find another eyeshadow palette. So, the other eyeshadow palette I've got is the Revolution Soap X revolution palette this is an extra spice palette this is her newest edition like newest palette out so it's so good as you can tell it's very dirty because i have been using it a lot i love the packaging it's like rose gold with like a cream kind of writing it's such an amazing palette i have used this so many times and it just looks like this this color i normally use for my inner highlight because it's such a nice blue um, I normally use some of these browns for my natural eye looks, which that's why I'm getting it out, getting it out, getting it out, and yeah. And got some bright colours, so it's like a mixture palette, like a mixed palette. Mix? It's a mixed palette. So I'm just going to be taking the shade Cookie Go, which looks like this. And I'm just going to be taking it all over my crease and mostly in my crease. I will be taking it all over my eyelid, but darker in my lid, in my eye crease. I can't even talk today. What is wrong with me? Can you guys see me? Yeah. I've done both of the. I need to do my wing, guys. Um, I've done both of the eyes off camera. No, I've done both of the shades of cookie dough off camera because it was just so much easier i done one eye on camera actually and i done the other one off so the next shade i'm going to be taking is the shade brownies which is at the bottom it just looks like this and we'll be taking a thinner brush so then it can probably go into my crease i'm just trying to find a natural brush and i'm going to be taking this really really thin brush just looks like that. I'm going to be taking cook, um, brownies in my crease. Because I want to darken my eyes. But not too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to brush that out with the same brush I just used a minute ago. So then both of the colours blend together. Move a bit closer off you guys. I think I'm gonna take a bit of the brownie shade. Also I've realised in this palette there is a lot of fallout. Like a lot of fallout. And I don't think I like it. Personally, I don't think I like it. Just the same on the other side. Oh, so I'm going to cut 
with the eyeshadow in a bit with like just a baby wipe or makeup wipe or whatever, wipe or whatever you call it because I don't like the way this eye I look is going as it's like more circle than like a line I kind of like more like a line like a full on line so then I actually have like a nice eye look instead of it like in like a circle like that like I don't like actually looks like that but if it's like on its own like with just one colour it's fine but if you're actually going to do a cut crease like I'm going to do I don't think it's the best idea but it's whatever isn't it so I'm going to be taking this Maybelline New York number thirty number three two ivory and i'm going to be taking it on my hand and putting it for my cut crease i use this because this is my foundation shade and it's really really light so i'm able to do them cut creases with this so one trick that i saw on imagination's channel is when you do put some on your lash line like that and then look up and it gives you like the perfect cut crease for your eye shape so yeah that is one trick to keep in mind because some people do go wonky for their cut creases so just make sure you get them cut creases equal because then you happen to um um sometimes you that can ruin your eye can like ruin the eye look completely but if you want one cut crease bigger than the other then go ahead carry on but i prefer them being equal on mine so that's basically what I'm doing. That's one cut crease done. Another cut crease done. So I've done both of my cut creases. I'm just going to bring them out a little bit. So that they look equal. So for this look, I think I'm going to go for like a brownie, like smoky kind of shade. So I'm going to be going dipping into the same palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade Dreams, which is a really, really nice name. I'm trying to see. Yeah, this is Dreams. It's such a nice colour. I might dip in a bit of the colour Le Sun. Just looks like, just looks like that. It's just a goldy shade. So yeah, let's, let's dive in. So I'm just going to be taking the brush I normally take for all of this like highlighter stuff. Like highlighter, just the things. And just this thin brush so I'm gonna be taking dreams before that I'm gonna be taking my fixing spray to give it actually get some definition out of that colour whoa look at that guys I am in love with this colour right now but sometimes can you see it's like going lumpy which I'm not a very good fan of. I'm not a very big fan of. Why? This palette is like amazing pigmentation and stuff like that. But. God, I don't know. It's just. There is a lot of fallout. Like, a lot. And I don't think I'll be able to wear this. Like, I I do wear it every day, but I don't think I'll be able to wear it like, every day anymore. Because there's so much fallout. And if I just want to do, like, a quick eye look, I can't. Because I have all this fallout underneath. And I can't just leave, like, straight away. So. I normally do my makeup straight away when I wake up. Because it's so much easier. And it's just, I, I know I probably meant to when I wash my face before, but I do my makeup and then I brush my teeth. 
Um, I obviously cream my face before I do my makeup because I don't like putting makeup straight on without putting like um, any moisturizer on or primer or the fixing spray. So also I'm going to be taking the sun, just a hint to that, just to add more like a goldy tone to it, just on top. I love these colours that she's taken and put into this palette. It is so gorgeous. Right, so that's the eyeshadow done. I'm just going to... What was I going to do? I was going to cut the eye by eye. So I'm just going to take in a wipe and just going to take it on my finger up because it's so much easier. So that's the kind of cut I was talking about. So they're kind of like the same. Ignore my face that I'm putting on. <laughs> so that's the eyes done, nearly. Nearly. I will be cutting my eyelashes. I need to wipe this concealer. I feel like sometimes it does help a lot if you have some concealer in your hand because then if you want to quickly just dive into some concealer and put it on your eyes, you can. So I'm just going to take some eyelash curlers which are really like nearly broken and I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Should I put eyelashes on everyone? Shall I? Or do I just leave my eyelashes normal? I feel like my eyelashes have really like shortened once I've started curling them. For some reason, I don't know why. But they look much shorter. I have no eyelashes, everyone. Right, I'm going to mascara. So the first mascara I'm going to be taking is Super Color by Rimmel London. It's really, really old, but it's got like a curved like brush. So it's really, really good for my eyes. So I'm just going to be taking this on the top. And if you already didn't know, I got new glasses because my old ones broke. But my old ones, I wasn't able to wear mascara with them. But with these new glasses that I'm wearing, I can wear how much mascara I want when I'm wearing them. So it's really, really good that I can wear them. Ignore how long this video is. I know it's going to be like a long, long video. But I'm sorry. Can you see how short my eyelashes are? They are really, really short, and I just I don't know if I I need them to grow longer. If anyone's got any tips on how to grow your eyelashes longer, like quick, please tell me because I am in need of it. Also, I don't use this mascara for my eyelashes in the bottom because I have a separate mascara for that. Also, I think I'm going to keep this makeup on because I never really wear makeup and it's kind of like a different like, vibe if you saw me, like a different kind of... So, this is mascara I'm going to be taking for my under eyelashes because look how thin the brush is. That's why I use it for my under eye. This is the Big Eyes by Maybelline New York and it has also another side. This is for upper lashes. Oh, it's actually used for upper and lower lashes. I don't actually know. But this one's for lower lashes and this one's for upper lashes. Now I'm going to take the lower lash one. Ignore that you can't see me right now. I really like need to get some new lights. But I literally can't afford them. And I need a big tripod. I feel like I'm going to start recording my videos, like me sat on my bed because I've seen like other people like Zoella and people like that 
they record on their bed so i'm really really intrigued by that and i really want to start doing that but you're currently on my tripod on my windowsill so right on to face eyebrows no i do my eyebrows last because i always get foundation over them so before anything i'm going to be taking just the end of you a beauty blender i'm going to be taking my collection consumer light like a pro just looks like this can you see that i'm not doing it too high this looks like this and it's just a contour palette like cream contour but i'm going to be taking the purple and green with this brush that just looks like this i'm going to be taking the green under my eyes because i need some of that on my face and then i'm gonna It feels really sticky. I'm really not a big fan of this one. Ooh. I'm really not a fan of this at all. For some reason, it's just. Can you see like my skin? where it is it's like going like sponge kind of effect you see what i mean um and then rounding my nose and then on like the blemishes i'm gonna be taking the purple on the same brush because it's just so much easier for the purple one i'm gonna be taking like over my beauty like spots and that might spot there spot there I want so many spots. I feel like this is like helps more with like the blemishes and everything. I feel like it needs to go all over my chin. Ignore how much I'm using. I actually am not using a lot, but this will help in the future. So I'm just gonna be taking. I can't sit straight. From like too long for this i'm just going to take a beauty blender blending it out because i need it to be blended out oh. i have never used um like correct concealers before and i don't know i just I don't know like how to feel about them. I feel like I'm a bit too close now. That's too close. That's better. Because I'm onto the face now, I don't really need to be zoomed doing as much. So this is maybe gonna look like make me made me look lot more paler but it will help in the future in the future in the long run just ignore how i had that up because i'm trying to concentrate um right so whilst that is on and like helping my face i'm gonna do my eyebrows so for my eyebrows i'm gonna be taking the revolution brow made in the shade dark brown just looks like this and it's just in dark brown i'll be taking my eyebrow brush wherever it is oh my camera's gonna slide and this is slider oh my god oh there's a spider anyways i'm gonna be doing my eyebrows just trying to find my brush that i use but I can't find it for some reason. I think that's it. Is that the brush I'm gonna use? Um, yeah, I may as well. <laughs> I just have so many eyebrow like angled brushes that I use. So it just just whatever one that I like to use. You know how long this video is. I keep on saying that, but it actually is gonna turn out to be a long video. 
So I've just got it on an angled brush and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Last time I'd done a video, it was the No Mirror Makeup Challenge and it was so hard. I couldn't do my eyebrows properly. If you guys know, my eyebrows aren't actually shaped very well, like, as you can tell, so it's even harder to shape them, like, on, like, camera. This is just going to have to do because I am, I like I promise I'll get my eyebrows shaped. My sister's going to do my eyebrows later on. Right, instead of this being a very long video, I'm just going to cut it here and do my other eyebrow and I think my other eyebrow and I'm going to carve them on the camera so I'll be back in like two seconds and it would be so much quicker for you guys so carry on watching this video please I really want the views to go up and everything so thanks for the support so this is mascara I'm going to be taking for my under eyelashes because look how thin the brush is that's why I use it for my under eye this is the Big Eyes by Maybelline New York and it has also another side. This is for upper lashes. Oh, it's actually used for upper and lower lashes. I don't actually know. But this one's for lower lashes and this one's for upper lashes. Now I'm going to take the lower lash one. Ignore that you can't see me right now. I really like need to get some new lights. But I literally can't afford them. And I need a big tripod. I feel like I'm gonna start recording my videos, like me sat on my bed, because I've seen like other people, like Zoella and people like that, they record on their bed, so I'm really, really intrigued by that. I don't really wanna start doing that, but you're currently on my tripod on my windowsill, so. Right, on to face eyebrows. No, I do my eyebrows last, because I always get foundation over them. So before anything, I'm going to be taking just the end of a beauty blender. I'm going to be taking my collection concealer and light like a pro. Just looks like this. Can you see that? I'm not doing it too high. Just looks like this, and it's just a contour palette, like cream contour. But I'm going to be taking the purple and green with this brush that just looks like this. I'm going to be taking the green under my eyes because I need some of that on my face and then I'm gonna oh it feels really sticky I'm really not a big fan of this one I'm really not a fan of this at all. For some reason, it's just. Can you see like my skin? Where it is, it's like going like a sponge kind of effect. You see what I mean? Um, and then rounding my nose, and then on like the blemishes, I'm gonna be taking the purple on the same brush because it's just so much easier. For the purple one, I'm gonna be taking like over my beauty like spots. And that might spot there, spot there. I want so many spots. I feel like this is like helps more with like the blemishes and everything. I 
I feel like it needs to go all over my chin. Ignore how much I'm using. I actually am not using a lot. But this will help in the future. So I'm just going to be taking... I can't sit straight for like too long. For this I'm just going to be taking a beauty blender. Blending it out because I need it to be blended out. I have never used um, like correct concealers before and I don't know I just I don't know like how to feel about them I feel like I'm a bit too close now that's too close that's better because I'm onto the face now I don't really need to be zoomed in as much So this has maybe gone look like make me made me look a lot more paler but it will help in the future in the future in the long run just ignore how i had that up because i'm trying to concentrate um right so whilst that is on and like helping my face i'm gonna do my eyebrows so for my eyebrows, I'm going to be taking the Revolution Brow Made in the shade Dark Brown. Just looks like this and it's just in dark brown. I'll be taking my eyebrow brush, whatever it is. Oh, my camera's going to slide. And this is slider. Oh my god. Oh. There's a spider. Anyways, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Just trying to find my brush that I use. But I can't find it for some reason. I think that's it. Is that the brush I'm going to use? Um, yeah, I may as well. <laughs> I just have so many eyebrow like angled brushes that I use. So, it just just whatever one that I like to use. You know how long this video is? I keep on saying that, but it actually is going to turn out to be a long video. So I've just got it on an angled brush and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Last time I've done a video, it was no mirror makeup challenge and it was so hard. I couldn't do my eyebrows properly. If you guys know, my eyebrows aren't actually shaped very well, like, as you can tell, so it's even harder to shape them, like, on, like, camera. This is just gonna have to do because I am put I like I promise I'll get my eyebrows shaped. My sister's gonna do my eyebrows later on. Right, instead of this being a very long video, I'm just gonna cut it here and do my other eyebrow and I think my other eyebrow and I'm gonna carve them on the camera so I'll be back in like two seconds and it would be so much quicker for you guys so carry on watching this video please i really want the views to go up and everything so thanks for the support that is my eyebrows done finally filled them out because they are so badly shaped my eyebrows are really really bad right now but i'm just trying to sort my eyebrows out so i'm going to be covering my eyebrows today um i'm going to be taking the same no, I'm not. I'll be taking a shade from here. I'm going to be taking the lightest shade. I don't know what that colour is. I'm going to be taking this shade from here to carve my eyebrows out.
not really carve them because it's not really coming out but the best I can do is this so I'm scared if I'm like keeping I keep on putting this up for some reason because I can't see what I'm doing but I'm sorry guys I'm going to take and pull that down there I keep on talking to myself also and it's really like starting to creep me out so it's not only you guys who are getting creeped out just saying and then after that I'm just going to blend it out so this is so much easier when you're going to do foundation and everything because you don't need to worry about missing like a patch when you like near your eyebrow because it's so hard to do them like near your eyebrow so you don't need to worry so onto foundation I'm just going to be taking the same as what did I use this for my cut crease the Maybelline New York super safe foundation the full covered one in the shade number three to ivory I'm just going to be taking that on my hand oh and I just got it everywhere that's nice So this has actually helped my foundation go on more. It's made it go a bit more patchy than normal. But the way it's going on my face is so different. I've needed a lot more foundation on one cheek than I normally use. So it makes me look like I've gone pale, like under different eyes. So my concealer will hopefully fix that. Like I've used so much just on one cheek, if you saw what I mean. I think that, that is definitely all I'm using. This shade has no like colour to it or anything. I did mix it with my other foundation, but I feel like I've done it too dark. So, oh, I'm kind of scared because my first day of college is so soon and it's like, oh my gosh, it's like around the corner and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not ready for this at all. Look how pale I look. I know I found it that pale on camera, but I'm as pale as a ghost on, on like in real life. And it's like really creeping me out. Like, oh my gosh. I don't think you're ready for this at all. I'm going to be contouring like mad. I will be taking just a Technic contour stick because I feel like these are so much nicer. If you guys don't want to know why I'm contouring so much, it's because I am so flipping pale. This is going to look like I'm like an adult idiot. But I generally swear to you, I'm the most pale person you'll ever meet like face wise but apart from that I'm tanned but doesn't like showing it on my face this makeup look is going to look terrible no offence Maybe it's not. Right, well, I'm gonna be fin I'm gonna carry on recording after I've done this. After I've done this contour. So once I've contoured and everything, I'm just gonna take some setting powder and cover this mess up. So for this I'm just gonna be taking the Maybelline New York powder. 
this is just the only powder I have really. I'm just been taking my Revolution Limited Edition powder brush. I'm just gonna be powdering this face. This is the hardest way to get your makeup off, like using powder. It's like annoying because you have to take all the powder off and everything and it's just like oh my gosh it's like and I've just got found concealer on my um what's it called my leg so once when you're doing makeup just don't forget if you've got any like makeup on your hand or anything so because that's what I always do I don't need that concealer foundation anymore anyway I waste so much foundation it's unreal Right, onto your contour, um, what's the word called? Onto bronzing my face up. I'm going to be taking just an anyway bronzer. This is in the shade Solar, number 100. So, I'm just going to be taking a bronzing brush. Just looks like this. And just dipping it in. Not how like messy I'm doing makeup. I actually do this like every single day like this. So just my normal daily. I'm so pale like right now. I hate it. So whenever I'm out, like, I don't want to look this bad. That contouring, that colour correcting contour has ruined my face. And I don't like it. So, that's my bronzing done. The next thing is my highlighter. So the highlighter I'm going to be taking is just from Primark. This is the Glow Palette Highlighter and Sculpt Cheek Palette. This looks like this, as you can tell I've used so much of it. So I'm just going to be taking any old brush. I'm going to be taking this one from Primark 2. It just looks like this. I'm just going to be dipping into this gold shade. I don't think any of you guys can see that glow though. Can you see that glow? Yes. Yes, girl. Get it, girl. I like to shade some up here. That's my highlight I've done on my face. Last is my inner corner highlight. As I said, I take the blue shade. This is called Infinity. And I'm just going to take that for my inner corner, my eyebrow highlight. So lastly is my lips. I'm just going to be taking a soft natural colour. This is in the shade Dusty Pink and it's just a matte one. It's from New Look and it's just such like a nice colour. Love the packaging too. I'm going to be taking this. As I said when I 
rangy. I can't even talk whilst doing lips too. But before you actually put your makeup on, make sure you put lip balm on. So when you're doing your lips, you don't need to worry about like having dry lips. Anything? Do you get me? So I think that is everything. This is my natural everyday look that I do basically every single day. I make sure the highlighter in the corner of my eye is on point. So that's why it's always on point. Um, I'm going to zoom out now. But yeah, that is my everyday look. And I think I will be back with another video. That was a long video, a very long video. I did post up a half an hour video the other day. So go check that one out. That is the no mirror makeup challenge. It was so hard because my eyebrows aren't shaped. I keep on going on about my eyebrows, but my eyebrows aren't shaped. So it's so hard to find the shape of my eyebrows without them being shaped themselves. And I see other people doing it and it's just so much easier for them guys. But yeah, on to the next video. I will be posting another probably makeup or daily vlog or anything like that. So yeah. Just go head to my channel, Charity Maynard. Go also follow my make my makeup account on We Heart Air. It's called Makeup XOX. It'll be in the description box down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you're notified every time I post a video, and comment when done you'll be nominated in one of my videos for a post notification shout out. Peace.